Christopher Austin Kucher, son of Diana and Larry M. Kucher, was born on February 7, 1978 in Cedar Rapids, Iowa and was raised in a conservative Catholic family together with his twin brother, Michael and older sister, Tausha. Austin attended Washington High School but did not spend long there as his family moved to Homestead, Iowa and there he attended Clare Creek Amana High School. While at Creek Amana High School, he became passionate about acting and got involved in school plays. His senior year at school was marred with his attempts to steal money from the school when he broke into the school at night with his cousin. He was arrested and convicted for third degree burglary with his sentence being three years probation and 180 hours of community service. Though the remaining years at high school were rough as no one trusted him anymore, he moved beyond that and got admitted into University of Iowa to major in biochemical engineering, which was purely a way he planned to get a cure for his twin brother who suffered from cardiomyopathy, a heart disease. That educational dream also was not to last as he got discovered at a local bar while still in the university. He got auditioned for the Fresh Faces of Iowa Modeling Competition, which he won and got a trip to New York City International Modeling and Talent Association in 1998. There he appeared in Calvin Klein's commercials and also modeled in Milan and Paris. He relocated to Los Angeles to focus on his acting career the same year he got the cast in the television series, that 70s show, and also starred in several comedy films including Guess Who, Just Married, Dude, Where's My Car, Cheaper by the Dozens, and The Butterfly Effect, which was a box office success, though it received mixed reviews. Ashton also starred in romantic comedies, No Strings Attached, what Happens in Vegas and A Lot Like Love and in 2003, he produced and starred in his own series, Punked, which he hosted. He was also the executive director of Beauty and the Geek, The Real Wedding Crashers, Adventures in Hollywood, Killers and The Game Show Opportunity Knocks. He got lots of production credits for these films through his production company, Catalyst Films, which he founded with Jason Goldberg, his partner. In May 2011, Ashton took over Charlie Sheen's role in the series Two and a Half Men and a year contract that was approximated at $20 million. His debut on the show was reviewed by 28.7 million people, making it the highest viewed episode and earned him $750,000 per episode. He also appeared on Shark Tank as a guest shark and in an episode of The Family Guy since 2016, starring also in The Ranch, a Netflix series. Though Ashton has had fewer roles in films in recent years, he has set his vision and dreams on technology and started funding ventures in Silicon Valley and successful investments in companies like Airbnb, Spotify, Uber, Pinterest, Wabi Parker, and Akans, which he makes through his two funds, a-grade investment and sound ventures, the companies he started with Gary Osri and Roy Bock. Lenovo also hired him as a product engineer in 2013 and in the same year launched a with Evan Baird and Kendall Dabagi and he sits as chairman of the board. The company has initially formed to be a product discovery service but now serves as a social media driven platform that has earned $27.5 million monthly. In addition to these, he runs the TAN, Digital Defenders of Children, which was formerly known as DNA Foundation that he formed together with his former wife, Demi Moore. The foundation is dedicated to ending child trafficking and sexual exploitation of children at home via pornography. In 2009, Ashton reached more than a million followers on Twitter, making him the first to do so, and was named in 2008 as the assistant coach of Harvard Westlake School freshman football team in Los Angeles and trains in martial arts with a brown belt. Though he owns a licensed hunting gun, he is an advocate for the implementation of new gun laws to stop mass killing. But this did not stop him from being heavily criticized for tweeting in support of Jerry Sandusky during the child sexual abuse scandal, saying that the coaches dismissed was a poor taste 
However, he later said he did not know the reason for the dismissal. Ashton dated Ashley Ellerin in 2001, but she was brutally murdered on one of the nights he went to her home. Five years later, he dated and married Demi Moore, but they divorced in 2013 and no children together. Ashton is currently married to Mila Kunis, his former Dad 70s show co-star, with whom he has two children. He was named one of Time's 100 most influential people and was said to have turned a $50 million investment into over $250 million company. Ashton currently has a net worth value of $200 million. Thank you very much for watching our videos. We'll appreciate if you subscribe to our channel and share this video with your friends. We love you.